Hello and welcome to Tutorials with Larry. My name is Larry King and I hope to teach you something new today. So today's video is going to be something a little different. Instead of one of my normal tutorials, I thought it would be fun to do a Let's Play slash tutorial series on Minecraft. I've recently started playing this, this game again. It's just as awesome as it used to be. I actually haven't played in several years, um, but I'm having a lot of fun again coming back. And honestly, maybe for selfish reasons, I guess, but uh, my granddaughter Caroline is now old enough now to where she's starting to get interested in the game, and I thought this kind of tutorial might be useful for her or really anyone else who might be new to survival games in general. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in. This is uh, a brand new server. Uh, it's a private server, and it's a standard survival map with no mods. And uh, so let's go ahead and just get started. I can show you a few of the basics if you've never played a game like this before. And um, try to see if I can teach you how to survive the first day or two. So Minecraft is just like any other sort of 3D game. Uh, your movement keys are the standard W, A, S, and D keys on the keyboard. Uh, Spacebar jumps. And the E key opens your inventory. So the whole idea of this game really is is about surviving. Um, you know, it's really the game that sort of defined the survival game genre, I think. And uh, but really, it, more than that, Minecraft is one of those games that just sort of has infinite possibilities. It's one of the most creative and amazing games I've ever played, and I think it's really why it's done so well over the last ten years. So basically, the first thing we want to do here is we want to build ourselves probably some type of a shelter or a base to survive and then we can start building up some resources build a better house do some exploration things like that so the first thing you want to do actually is just walk up to any tree in the game and just start punching the tree and what will happen is you'll break apart the trunk of the tree and get some wood and you can start crafting some stuff That's probably enough to get started. So the first thing we're going to do here, I'll show you how to build a crafting station. So if you open up your inventory, press the letter E, you'll see the six logs that we just broke. Um, if you drag those to your crafting table up here and drop them in place, it shows you right here what you can create with those oak logs. So one oak log will make four oak planks. So if you click here, you now have four oak planks and you lost one log. Now if you hold down the shift key and click, it'll turn all of these into a stack of oak planks. So we now have 24. So you want to take four of these oak planks, it doesn't matter what kind of wood it is actually, but put four of them in your little crafting area of your inventory and you can create a crafting table. Let me show you what that does. So drop it in your hotbar here. Now your hotbar works just like any other sort of computer 3D game. Uh, if you hit the 1 through 9 keys, it changes your hotbar selection. So let's go ahead and select that crafting table and we'll drop it down. And now if you right click on there, you can now craft things that have up to 9 slots. So you can make much more complex items. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a pick. Minecraft basically consists of a set of tools that you use all the time like a pick, a shovel and an axe. Um, there's, there's more tools that you use for other, other purposes, but for now those are the ones you want to get started with. And uh, you probably also want to make yourself some type of a weapon to defend yourself because as soon as the sun goes down things are going to get kind of kind of crazy. There's a lot of zombies and creatures that will come out and, uh, and try to do some harm to you. So uh, what you want to do here, the first thing you want to do is if, if you think about a, a pick, think about the shape of a pick, right? So you have the handle of the pick, and then across the top, you've got sort of, you know, the, the part that picks into the ground or into the rocks. So it's like a T-shape. So the handle is going to be made of sticks. So what we want to do is actually make some sticks first. So you take two oak planks, just like this, and that creates four sticks. So go ahead and do that. Now if you put your sticks here, and then take your planks, and go across the top, create this nice T-shape, and... Can now craft a wooden pickaxe. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now what we probably want to do is find some stone. So let's let's break this and pick it up. Let's 
go find some stone somewhere nearby. Whoa, that's some crazy physics there. Okay, let's head back this way. There we go. There's some stone right there. Oh, we have some iron here too. Okay, we'll get into that in a second. So what you want to do now is start breaking apart some stone. Let's get a few pieces of it. And you want to use a pickaxe to break stone because it's you can do it actually with your hands. You can do it with a shovel or some other type of a tool, but it's very slow. Pickaxe is the best tool for breaking any sort of stone. Now, if you want to break dirt, if you want to break gravel or sand, um, you want to uh, use a shovel for that. And of course, you want to use an ax for trees. Okay, that's probably good enough. So what we want to do is make a set of stone tools. Um, wooden tools are okay in a pinch, but uh, they're just they're just not very tough, and uh, they're very slow. So you want to use a harder material. Um, so the first thing you can build are wooden tools, and then you can eventually build stone, and then you can graduate up to iron tools, and then the best thing you want to get are diamond tools. Diamond's actually a lot harder to find. And actually now with the new version of Minecraft, uh, you, you can actually build tools made out of uh, a material called netherite, but you have to go into the nether to do that. So let's pull out our crafting station again. And then let's make some more sticks. So I want to show you something else too. So you see this book here. If you click the book, that sort of side menu opens and closes. Uh, what this is, this shows you all the things you can craft. Now, see where it shows the check mark here. If you click that, that will actually show, this is everything you can basically craft from the materials you've found in the game so far. If you want to show what you can craft with what you have in your inventory currently, just click that again. It shows the green check mark. These are the things you can build right now with what you have in your inventory. So you see some stone tools. And like I showed you, the pick, if you click there, it puts two sticks there. And with the material across the top, and then it creates your pick. And the same is going to be for a shovel. If you think of a shovel, there's going to be two sticks here and then some sort of a material up here. So let's make some more sticks. We just ran out. If you click it multiple times, it adds more items here. And then if you shift click it, it'll create all those at once. So let's make an ax. Think of the handle and then the shape of the ax blade. You don't have to memorize the recipes, but it's kind of nice, to, you know, to not have to look them up. Um, you can get a little faster with the game if you do memorize them. And then let's make a sword. So if you think of a sword, it's going to be a short handle and a, and a long blade. So click there, and it fills it in for you. Now you have a way to defend yourself. Okay, so it looks like the sun is going to be going down pretty soon here. You only have like 20 minutes um, on a daily cycle in the game, so you want to try to use the daylight as, as best as you can. So let's go ahead and try to build ourselves a little bit of a shelter here because there's going to be some bad guys coming through here soon. So let's pull out our axe. We'll break this apart. And remember, sand is good uh, with a shovel, but sand is also hard to build with because it actually obeys gravity. So this is kind of cool. Let me show you this. You pick up the sand and let's go to your hot bar. If I were to put the sand right here, See how it just kind of falls until it hits the ground? Dirt, stone, other items don't don't behave that way. They just sort of uh, don't obey the laws of physics. So if I were to grab a piece of dirt here, kind of sort of sticks to that other one there. So uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves a, a little quick shelter and uh, try to ride the night out so we don't get killed by the zombies. Okay, that should keep us safe for the night. I'm actually going to just do a little bit of mining while we're sitting here waiting for the morning to come. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that. It's just to gather some more supplies for the rest of the tutorial. Okay, the sun is back up. It doesn't take very long. And I was able to mine a few resources in the process here. So what I'm thinking might be the best thing to do 
maybe we should build a boat and just kind of hug the coastline here and uh, let's just look for a nice place to build. It's probably be the best thing we could do. So let me go chop down another tree here so we can have some stuff to build a boat with. Okay, so let's make some planks first. There we go. A birch boat. So boats are pretty simple. You just put it in your hot bar, right click on it to put it in the water. And then if you right click on it, you'll jump right in the boat. And then just use your standard WASD keys. And you can see you move a lot faster in these than you do walking, especially on these hilly regions here when you're jumping up and down. Let's just do some exploring. All right, so this area here is actually a cedar forest. Oh. Oh, there's a sea turtle there, but it looks like it's kind of like a shipwreck here. These are awesome because uh, sometimes you'll find some treasure in here. So to get out of the boat, you just hit the left shift key. And your boat will stay in the water. You can uh, hit it with an axe to break it and put it back in your bag. But uh, let's leave it there for now and check this place out. Yeah, this is kind of uh, some sort of a shipwreck that got stuck on the shore. So you got to do some digging through these to, to find the, the hidden treasure. But um, just pull out your axe and start digging. Okay, we found a chest. So just like uh, any chest in the game, you just right click on it to open it. Now, if there's something obstructing it above, you've got to break that. Okay, ooh, we found a buried treasure map. So, found a few books and some paper. We can use those later in our adventures. But I'm going to do some more digging through here. Maybe we could find another buried treasure. Oh, looks like I found another one. Awesome. We can use this iron. All right. Good start. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to find on this one. So, oh, okay, there's some coal here too. So basically what you need coal for is for building torches and for cooking things. Uh, that could be for anything from cooking food to actually cooking different types of stone. Uh, if you put sand um, in, the, in a furnace and cook it, uh, it'll turn to glass. Uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So coal is extremely valuable. Okay, let's head on out of here. Say goodbye to our friend here. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a really beautiful looking, I guess it's like a coral biome or something like that. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this. I The last time I played Minecraft was before they added all this ocean stuff. And um, since I've been playing again, I haven't seen anything like this. This is really cool. Okay, I'm going to head back to the mainland here, and we can always come back here and do some exploration. All right. We're getting luckier still. Found a village. I think maybe we should try to build a house kind of close to this village here. I'm kind of cruising around the corner, see how things look. Well, I kind of feel like we made a big circle here, so... Let's keep looking. It's going to be a cool looking place here we want to make our home. Well, after a whole night of exploring, I think I'm actually going to just build a starter home here, not too far from that village that we saw. This looks like a good place. A couple good caves over here, plenty of trees, plenty of sand. So I'm just going to park the boat here and uh, let's go 
hop up the hill and see what we see. All right, we got plenty of sheep over here. Got some pigs over there. Plenty of animals. This looks like a good spot. So I'm going to start gathering some resources. And uh, basically what I think what I want to do is maybe look for some kind of a cave. Uh, maybe we can start digging down and uh, find some iron that we can use to craft some better tools. Things like that. Okay, I found some iron. This is a big deal. So what I'm going to do is mine this stuff. And we're going to smelt it and build some better tools. That wasn't very much iron. We probably want to get more than that, but that'll get us started. What we're going to do first, we're going to make a bed. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's drop our stuff down here. First thing I want to do is put down these chests. Now when you drop down a chest, you can obviously just right click on it and uh, and store, store all your stuff in here. But you can drop down a second chest next to it and it increases the size of storage by quite a bit. So let's put our valuables in here. In case we die, at least we can come back and get them. And what I'm going to do is with this cobblestone, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a couple of furnaces. And to make a furnace, you just take the cobblestone, put it in a circle, just like that. And we'll make two. Now the way a furnace works is you have to put coal or some sort of an item that's burnable in the bottom portion here. So let's put a few pieces of coal in here and then we'll take our raw iron ore that we just found and cook it. It takes a little time but uh, as soon as it's done we'll have a stack of five iron ore that we can use or five iron ingots. So I think that's about all we want to cook for now. Uh, but what I did do is, since I gathered these iron ingots, if you take two iron ingots, put them in a, this kind of configuration, you can make some shears. And let me show you what you can do with shears. So you can actually just walk up to a sheep and kill it with your sword, um, and you can get probably like one piece of wool. But if you use some shears, you get two or three pieces each time. All you need are three pieces of wool to make a bed. So let's come back over here and we should have a bed somewhere in our inventory right here. Now where the bed comes in handy, just drop it down and as soon as the sun goes down you can actually sleep and it'll actually make the entire night uh, sort of fast forward until the next morning. Now there's a catch to that. If you're playing on a server and if there's other people logged in, if they don't sleep as well, then you just have to live through the night. In the meantime, I'm going to go take out some of these pigs and uh, we're going to use their meat and cook it uh, because we're getting a little low on food. Okay, we've got some pigs we can cook. And let's go ahead and sleep for the night. So just right click on your bed. Now there's one catch. If there are any creatures nearby, zombies, skeletons, whatever, uh, the system won't let you sleep. So you got to make sure and clear out all the bad guys before you can sleep. But you can, as you can see here, it's bright and early in the morning and no dangers. So uh, I'm going to keep doing some mining, gathering some more resources, and maybe we can build ourselves a quick little starter house here. Okay, well I think I gathered enough resources for us to build a simple little house here. But before I do that, I want to give you a couple more quick tips. Um, I had also gathered a bunch of iron. And um, what I do recommend doing as soon as you get some iron is, is to make iron tools. They're just so much better than the stone tools. And you do it the same way as the stone tools or the wood tools with the same style of resources. So an iron pickaxe would have three iron ingots on top and then two sticks. But what I do also recommend is making some armor. Uh, it'll, it'll help a ton. So uh, the way you do that is just use your recipe book 
and click on the piece you want. There's four pieces of armor you want to craft. There's a chest plate, helmet, boots, and pants or leggings. Now if you hit the E key for your inventory, you actually have armor slots here. So you can just drag them here or you can actually hold on the shift key and click it and it puts it in the right spot. So yeah, nice fancy suit of armor. But it'll keep us protected, so it's, it's definitely worth doing. Okay, the well, last thing I wanna show you here, let me put my iron away. A lot of ingredients you can actually combine into other sort of more, I guess, slightly different looks, right? So uh, if I open up my inventory here, you can see I have a bunch of sand. Well, you can actually combine that sand into sandstone. And that's this right here. So if you click the item you want to combine it into, it fills up your inventory. So four sand will make one sandstone. So I'm going to shift click this and then shift click this. And you can see it just converted all that into uh, actual sandstone. Now for the build that I'm going to be doing, I actually want to have this stuff called cut sandstone. It actually looks a little nicer. It's a little smoother than regular sandstone. So do the same thing here. Shift click that, shift click this, and now we have a bunch of cut sandstone. So, I'll show you where I was planning on building. It's kind of a nice spot over here. Right up on this hill, it's kind of nice. Nice and flat, you get a good view of the water. Forest over here, so, seems like a good spot. So I'm going to start laying some things out, and uh, I'll be back in just a minute, and then uh, we can kind of walk through the rest of the build. Okay, so I kind of have just the outline of the house built here. Uh, basically what I like to do is I kind of like to put the corners of my house up first. Uh, this is where the door is going to go in to the house. Uh, I might have a back door as well, but I'm thinking of making this my little bedroom area where we're going to put our bed and um, put some crafting stuff out here. Should be a pretty good little house for a starter for us. Um, another thing too, this is just a just a matter of personal preference, but you know, Minecraft being such an, an awesome creative game that it is, um, whenever I build a house or some type of a structure, I like to kind of style it in the in the design of the materials that are nearby. So you know, you've got a cedar forest over here. Um, there's a lot of oak over here. Uh, lots of sand throughout the area as well, so I'm kind of going to mix all those materials together to create this uh, this house. So anyway, I'm going to keep uh, building, and I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, I just want to show you a little bit of progress of how things are coming here, and just to give you a couple other tips as well. So you can see I combined some oak for the roof. Um, there's some actually use oak logs for the floor here and I'm gonna use oak planks in the middle but just want to kind of show you how they how they contrast it's kind of cool um, using the oak logs around the edges it's kind of a, a nice accent color uh, it's a lot more expensive because you know one of those can be used into four oak planks but makes it for a little bit nicer look now this wood here this cedar is a little dark but let me show you another trick you can do if you place any logs whether it's like these oak logs here or these cedar logs pull out your axe and if you right click on the item it'll strip it and uh, it only works for wood and it only works for the logs but uh, gives it kind of a real unique look so that's kind of fun and I think I'm going to use these um, I made these sandstone walls I'm going to use these as kind of like a, an accent on the outside, like kind of like pillars or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to keep decorating and I'll be back in just a moment. Well, I think this is probably about as far as I'm going to take the house for today. You can see I made some glass. Again, all you have to do is you cook some sand and uh, you just throw it in a furnace and uh, turns it into these glass blocks. Uh, makes for a nice decoration. So, nothing super fancy, but uh, kind of a good starter house. If anything, it's going to keep us nice and safe. Well, that is basically it for our very first Minecraft video. I hope it was helpful to you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'm going to be talking about digging a mine and trying to find some diamond. So, in the meantime, 
Hope you have fun playing Minecraft and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.